Hey guys, I'm making a video, looking a hot mess, but wanted to come on. Um, I was going over my numbers, and I'm now 42 weeks um, post-op. I'm nine months, um, nine months, 19 days. It's 7,056 hours. 400,200. Okay, you get it. It's a lot. So, um, I'm 42 weeks post op, nine months out, and I think I was kind of bummed, or I always get down on myself because I don't, I don't think I'm losing enough, or I want to lose more, or I'm not happy with where I am. But I was looking at all my numbers, and I started off my pre-liquid diet at 260 pounds. Um, I am officially down because I've had another two pound loss. I'm officially down to 192, so that means I've lost a total of 68 pounds in the past nine months. Average is out to about seven and a half pounds a month. Um, if you followed my journey at all, you know that some months I was doing absolutely nothing, and there was months where I wasn't holding myself accountable to anything, and I was just um, not trying. So, um, and I think we all have those. Um, one of the people that I watch on here, um, put it, she put a comment on her Facebook saying, you know, don't compare your, your journey to anybody else's because you're just going to set yourself up for failure. Um, I didn't compare myself, but I followed um, Sky Moon, Melanie, and uh, Banded Wendy, and a lot of other women on here, so many other ones, that have had amazing success, but they, no doubt, have put in more work than I was putting in. So I wasn't necessarily expecting the same results. Um, you get what you what you what you put into it. Um, I'm not I, I, I was considering getting another fill. Um, I'm consistently losing. I just have to be careful, especially like the holidays were a little scary for me because I thought, okay, all this food, and what am I going to do? My sister made a beautiful dinner for Christmas. She made um, birria and she had tamales. And I did eat um, just enough for me. And I never try to push myself more than I can eat. And I have uh, really restricted days where my band does all the work for me. And then I have days where I have to do all the work for the band because... Something just happens to where I could just eat. Um, I get hungry and I think, ooh, I can eat that. And then I I get a very sharp reminder letting me know I can't eat that. So, you know, I, I'm really happy with where I am. My... Um, my clothes fit great. I'm going to do another full body shop video. Um, so, you know, I feel better. Even running around with the kids. We recently went to the snow. Um, anytime before, I, we would do anything. I was always too tired. And I was just kind of sitting back and watching the kids play. Or sitting back and, you know, someone else was doing the playing. Um, for the, the running around with the kids because my kids can run for days. But this time I was running around with them, going up and down the hill, and it just felt nice. It felt nice to be an active parent. And I still have more to go. Um, we've actually started working out together as a family. Um, my oldest son, he is a little chunky and I'm doing something that was never done with me growing up. Um, I know he hates exercise, and I don't blame him. You know, he was, for the majority of his life, of his life, he was raised with a mother who also didn't want to exercise. And believe me, I still do not want to exercise, but um, I see the benefits, and um, I feel I feel good, and I love. I love the way I'm starting to look and, um, well, right now, you know, but, um, yeah, you know, I just want to make a quick little video just because I was going over my little numbers and I saw, um, 
68 pounds. Nine months, 68 pounds down. I started off, uh, I believe it was like a size 22, 24. I am, I'm still in 14s because I don't get out of a size until I'm comfortably in the next one. And I could slip into 13s and, and I could slip into 12s, but I can't breathe. So, <laughs> we're not there yet. Um, I, I, have a, I have a goal. Um, I'm going to wear the outfit that um, I, I'm going to show you the dress in the next video, the dress that I want to get into. And then hopefully I'll show you in a few weeks after that, um, you know, that I'm in the dress. I wore my first pair of like really ripped, cute jeans the other day. And I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I thought, ooh. Damn it. <laughs> it was good. I, I love the way I look. And I know that I talk about uh, my family. I don't know. Does this happen to you guys where your family's like over you? Like always talking about your weight. And, and my brother actually told me um, that I was, um, what do you say? He said, oh, you're starting to sound like a cancer patient. Please, no one take offense to this. And he said, a cancer patient, just because you like went through cancer doesn't mean that everybody wants to hear about it all the time. Um, well, you know what? I have lost 68 pounds. And it's something that I have never done before. And I have never felt this good. So even if every conversation that I have ends up with my weight loss, I'm proud of what I've done. And anybody who has had the surgery and anybody who has been through it knows that um, the lap band is one where you got to bust your butt and you need to make sure you're putting effort into it. Um, I know there's other weight loss surgeries where you can still eat. On this one, you will seriously, at least for me, um, sit there while people are eating and not be able to do a damn thing about it. Like, you can't. And especially if you made, and which I, which has happened to me, where I make bad choices and then I get stuck. Once you're stuck, you're stuck. It's not like you could just go PB or, you know, throw it up and you're good. It's not how it works. Uh, for me, once I get stuck, even after it comes up, I'm really, you end up getting like your band or your throat gets like tight and nothing wants to go down. So you better just drink some hot broth or some coffee, some tea, whatever your doctor allows and call it a night because that's it at least for me so um i hope my family doesn't get well, I, I know they're probably like over it but i'm not and i will forever be happy and proud of where i am and um i have a great support system and i know even though they probably get irritated of me talking about it so much they are happy for me um my um, my sister, anytime I'm eating with her, she reminds me to slow down, slow down, slow down, because I want to inhale my tiny bit of food. Um, it's still something I'm working on, even nine months post-op. Um, I am not allowing myself to get another fill right now because I'm consistently losing weight because I'm making better choices and I'm being active. So I don't need another fill yet, and I want to hold on to still have room for a fill uh, when I get closer to my to my goal weight so that I have something to to help um, at this point I don't need the fill I think I, I get I freak out when I see that I can eat a lot of food even though it's not a lot of food but um, yeah guys well turned into a really long video so I'm gonna cut it short but I just want to come and say hi um, leave me comments and tell me how you're going with your family like how are you working with that anybody going through anything similar um, well bye